Kiribati is a small island developing state in the Pacific. And although the islands here are small, covering around half the area of Greater London, the oceans are enormous. And 90% of these are deep seas. As part of the CME project, we're working with the government to improve environmental management. We've got two main aims. Do the first scientific assessment of the abyssal environment and build capacity in Kiribati through training and workshops. We have just finished the second of these workshops with a wide range of stakeholders. Within a week we cannot really accomplish everything, but the engagement provided a wide perspective of the information, the tools and the concepts that need to be used to effectively manage the environment. This is the Ministry for Fisheries and Marine Resource Development in Kiribati and they're in charge of decision making and putting the permits in place for deep sea mining. I think we need more um, information on our own water or ocean and I think the best um, the best way to do that is to you know have more trainings and workshops and those sort of things. In front of the Kiribati parliament a place where in the coming years many important decisions will have to be taken not only about climate change an ongoing threat to this island state uh, but also about the extraction of the mineral resources at the bottom of the ocean. For us uh, the marine is our own it's our own livelihood, it's our life, it's our culture, so we put that as a priority and we, think we need to <laughs> engage more on this. Funding from the UK government via the Commonwealth Marine Economies Programme is enabling us to provide the information and the skills to support management of sustainable marine economies into the future.